Hey, I'm Decathlon Gamer, and this is the Road to the Record, where I work to achieve mastery of 10 games in a hunt for the best score of the Decathlon. If you like what you see, remember to hit that like button. And if you want to see more, hit subscribe. Let the games begin. This is Crusader Kings 2. It's week 25 of competition. And here in just a couple months' time, uh, I will finally have the opportunity uh, to hit late feudal administration, uh, which will then give me the chance to change uh, the law regarding inheritance, which could forcefully keep things uh, united, as opposed to having all of my children receive portions of the inheritance. Uh, in order to make that happen, though, I'm going to need council support. It looks like I have two loyalists, uh, so I should have no problem uh, receiving support from them. However, from the other four, it uh, looks like I might have another story. Uh, so if I'm going to get a favorable vote, I'm going to need to buy favors uh, from two of the four who would likely vote against right now. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start right here. Buy favor, and it's going to cost me 80 And one of these two, let's see, 85, yeah, let's go ahead and do that one as well, and yes. Okay. Alright, there's one favorite bot. also shutting down all of the uh, plots that were out there there we go and there's the other so now I have two favors from council members ready to go Introduced Venkadadri to Permanati, hoping they could get along. But apparently, uh, Venkadadri was not interested in making an effort. Yeah, whatever. Alright, we're about a month off. I've arrived at the private rooms of Thakur Sumaditya. There's plenty of food and drink here, and the mood is decidedly merry. I am looking forward to this. Okay, Thakur brought out the board and pieces and suggests that we play a few rounds to determine who is the better strategist. We will play for honor. We played for hours, the tides of fortune ebbing and flowing as I tried to attack my opponent's positions without opening my defense too much. Eventually, however, I made a fatal mistake that my opponent exploited and I lost the game. Excuse me. All right, uh, mid-June, I think that just about does it. This is what I'm kind of trying to go for, so the primogeniture. Uh, but I need late feudal administration to uh, change to that. And 19, three days. Uh, the reveling and crossing is over for now. Time to get back to real life. To be prestige picked up. There we go. Let's try this again. Okay, so right now I have two supporters and four opposing. And I want to call in these favors. How do I do 
do that. Let's see. Call in council support. So good. And there you go. I have four supporters and two opponents now. So, what do I get for this, by the way, besides the, the real goal? Uh, late feudal lords realize the importance of keeping the inheritance together to facilitate their dynasty's long term increase in power and wealth. In this system, there is a tendency for vassals to grow more and more powerful with time, if not kept in check. The effects allows additional succession laws, which is what I need, uh, but vassals who refuse liege interference in wars are seen as traitors. Interesting. Okay. Seek approval for late feudal administration. Late feudal lords realize uh, that, uh, that's what I was just doing. Okay. Okay, returning a favor. Returning a favor. And there you go, the Lords of Telangana have approved the institution of the late feudal administration law. Beautiful. Alright, so we have moved up to late feudal administration with that task done. Let's see, I can't do any other voting there. However, I have just unlocked oldest child of the ruler inherits all titles. Your successor will like the law, but other members of your dynasty will slightly disapprove. Changing succession laws will displease all vassals, especially those who stand to lose. Uh, specifically, these two who like me a bit but not a lot. The eldest child of the ruler inherits all titles. The successor will like the law. Others will slightly disapprove. There we go. Okay, we've made it to agnatic primogeniture. And only males can inherit. <sighs> I've done it. That's been a long-term goal for quite a while. Now the trick is going to be uh, how much does everybody suddenly hate me? Eh, just minus ten. A son was born to Maharaja Balaganga of the Vemilavada Chalukya Kingdom and Maharani Kuladevi of the Vemilavada Chalukya Kingdom named Sharva. Just in time, the son is born, but he is not the heir. <laughs> Alright, so most everyone actually still seems to like me. Just this rival one. It's 
It's interesting that I don't have that control anymore to change my advisors. I do need a designated regent, though. Oh. I guess it's important that I take a look at this, huh? I didn't notice this way before me. Okay, Thakur Singapata of Uriyagiri is trying to usurp my title. His chancellor, Mayor Satyasraya of Valarapura, is supposedly traveling around Panagalu trying to find both documents and supporters to help him legitimize a claim on the title. I need to do something about it. Uh, let's see. Da, da, da. I could kill him. Bribe him. Oh, a lot of people are trying to put claims on my title right now. Uh, you know, I've tried this about three times already and had it fail every time. <laughs> so, let's see. Fourth time is the charm. Nope. There you go. Every time. Uh, my friend Pramandi has offered to travel to the Shu Empire on a mission to bring glory to the Vemulavada Chalukya Kingdom. Please, my lord, he says, let a humble servant strengthen your relations with the Emperor of the Shu Empire. Hopefully prestige. Ah, what a brilliant idea. Go with my blessing. I'm sending somebody else. Okay, go ahead. I'm pleased to hear that after a period of peace and shrewd management, the county of Balconda is doing very well. People are happy. Okay, now, got a few things to address, but otherwise, no, oh, open council position. Well, hello. Get back to that, my designated regent. Who shall it be? It's not going to be the one who hates me. <laughs> uh... There we go. Alright, it's so weird for me to be the leader of my own small nation. However, that small part is a threat because very much uh, under threat, I believe. There we go. Wow, you have a lot of claims. <laughs> your titles. Now, I think they just had a lot of troops I saw from a previous war, but uh, it would be nice if I could include this. Defending. Make them a tributary state. Boo, I'm not. 
Linda Raj. I don't know who that is. Thupo Adnata. That somebody's already trying to uh, essentially vassalize them. Which is not good for me because they were kind of the only smaller target around. Uh, Rashkuta, my former kingdom, obviously is way too strong. Was it Pella? No. I'm not sure who. So I don't know what to do with myself here. I have options. <laughs> Over. No factions, that's good. No known plots, no threats. Nice, what's that gonna do? Okay. Looks like I have a council position to open. My steward has passed away. Oh, good. Haha. <laughs> I mean, oh, poor guy. Okay, well, it looks like I only have one who's uh, a powerful vassal who uh, wants, let's see. Take him, he's only a seven. There's other ways to make him happy. Take the eleven. Ooh, nice. As a revolt. My wife is pregnant. Now I don't mind that. <laughs> that used to be very disappointing when anyone passed the first born son. Uh, anytime she gets pregnant. Okay, Shu Empire is a fascinating place, my lord Permandi says, as I turn the foreign coins over in my hand. <clears throat> he arrived this morning, and besides the obvious souvenirs, he comes carrying many a tale from his travels. Everyone in the castle wants to know everything. Bear with us, Permandi, as my scribes collect all your stories. Gain 200 grace, and 50% chance that we'll be patient. Small gathering of friends. Of course, I will come. All right, now I have a happy council. That's good. Uh, it's gonna be a while before I can do anything with laws. Let's see here. Eight seventy-five, July of eight seventy-five. Okay, tech. No improvements ready to be made, but that legalism three was a huge hit for me. Very happy by that one. Okay, and here's that a lot of. Let's, let's see what I can do to make you happy there. Uh, my commander has improved. That's good. Gain two or three marshal. Can we... 
not a gift. I want to see. I want a title, but not a landed title. There you go. Honorary. Master of the Hunt. Cupbearer. There we go. What's this one? Organization of Feast, Domestic Entertainment. Get that you want a seat on the council, but at least you have a positive relationship now. Chief Minister of the Exalted Protector General addresses a letter to the eminent Maharaja of the Vimalavada. May peace and unity always bless your realm. To strengthen the relationship between our nations, my master has sent me on a mission. It would honor me to visit your court and discuss politics with your diplomats. Ah, yes, okay. The defensive pact opposing. Okay. The price of decadence. The ruling dynasty of the Abbasid Empire has been overthrown by the zealots and hard-living tribesmen of the Sadakid Dynasty. Former vassals may seize this opportunity to declare independence. I've arrived at the private rooms. Samaditya. Okay. Time for that little feast. Okay, we've had another changeover. Uh, the revelry are an excellent escape. So many laughs, many tense conversations, a clambers, me close to my companions. Feel like good friends already. Hey, we became close friends. Yay. Uh, let's see. Colopaik. Uh, has passed away. So I've lost another position, this time my marshal. Clear choice. 21. set a loss on what I need to do okay their war just changed so what's what's your status here now okay you get a little smaller they lost a few provinces but now they have three wars subjugation Tributary state to the Maharashtra. If I can, what can I do? I could take just this province. That might be easy to do right now. Council would support it. I'm not going to get the, the tributary state with multiple wars going on. I think this would be a good opportunity to just try to steal one province. Let's do it. Uh, before I get to that though, what do we have here? To the heroic Maharaja. Uh, we propose that 
Yeah, these long names. Is this my... Oh, my aunt. She's 23. Leader of the revolt? No. <laughs> okay, military. Let's start with personal levies. He's over. We've got work to do. We're gonna try to siphon one province away here. I had my servant buy an exquisite garb of Chinese silk with the proper accessories in preparation for Chief Minister Li Duangying's arrival. However, as I welcomed him and his entourage, the sight of my new robe seemed to displease him. Later, the translator told me I wore several attributes exclusive to the Emperor's family. Uh oh, what's going on here? Maharaja is called. <laughs> how has he called them into the war? I don't understand how that's happened. Why? Okay, uh, well, 53 troops I can handle, 500 maybe. Uh, what I need now is a prayer, <laughs> no, uh, no allies to call in. I have an ally, but okay, had an ally. Uh, we're gonna call those 500 in, and then... Monthly cost is 50. Wow, that's expensive. Uh, let's see here. I need one that I can actually afford. Like 1400 might be a good addition and affordable. Apparently it's all going right there. Okay, now they're going elsewhere. Uh, let's start by uniting these guys. And these guys. And we'll go here. Got over 3,000 troops. A daughter! Obayama. Okay, head for the war goal. It's worth the most points. I've managed to muster almost 4,000 troops. Okay, Shatri and Marlaganga are my leaders right now, so let's get you on the other flank. There we go. Oh gosh, they've pulled together a few troops. <laughs> How they've been called into the war, I do not know. Okay, they're not friends.
Okay. Try to take out a thousand troops. I gotta split these guys up. I can't allow all their forces to get together. It's calling them into the war. They had no relationship. Wow, you're six and that's all you've got going for you? Alright, we need to train you in combat if you're gonna be a decent enough leader. climb to 13%. I don't know how they keep escaping me, but... There we go. Got him that time. With only 30 losses. War score just jumped considerably. To keep hold of our claim. Don't you take it before I get there. Don't you take it. There we go. Alright, they are retreating. Probably the bottom one, but the, the, the bottom one, which means you're headed. No, headed this way though. Okay, war score has jumped to 32 percent now. Not close yet. Shouldn't need a hundred percent war score to take one province. Then again, this is not EU4. Whoa, 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 whoa! Are you kidding me? Out of nowhere, four thousand troops just show up. Run right away! For around here at least. This and I can see. Okay, 38% now. The Telugu populace in Balkonda have embraced Kannada culture? Civilized peasants? Shocking. 
just realized that it's Maharashtra that I'm fighting, right? Yeah. All of this over one province. I feel like I should have gone for more. Trade route uh, from Rakakanda is in dire need of a new ship and equipment to be able to continue bringing in goods to our realm. Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't want to spend that gold right now, but uh, if I have to, unfortunately, at least at the moment, I can afford to. News from China. Emperor Shuge Cheng Su. Chinese son of heaven has died and been succeeded by Shuge Ching Song. Like his predecessor, the new emperor is known to believe in an open China. Apparently, takes a special interest in eunuchs from towns, uh, f but frowns on Tibetan cultures. Fifty-two percent now. The marshal tells me that one of my commanders has improved significantly. Thank you. Well done. Okay. You would take white piece at this point. It's good to know. Like they're trying to reclaim those lands to the north, which luckily is distracting them just enough. Uh, but not quite enough. <laughs> not quite enough. I don't see why this would have to be anywhere near 100% to take one province. Okay, here come the troops again. Uh, I just finished taking that holding. I do need to move on because 5,000 troops is too much. Uh, we'll move this way for now. Easy to retreat from there if they continue to chase me. Oh, and they reclaim it in two seconds. I hate how they do that, and why I haven't figured out how to do that. Okay, we'll get back in there shortly, because obviously the war score just disappeared. Tempted to white piece this thing if that's even still an option. Range betrothal. No. Oh. Decline. <laughs> Now 
out. Okay, work score is ticking the wrong way at the moment. Once we take the first piece of this province, we'll uh, try to get back over to Barasuru. Split them in half and siege more than one at once and just be prepared to run when they come back. Oh, there's only 187. Can I? What are my options here? That'd be an option to. There we go. Attempt an assault. Okay, we got it back. And we're at 72%. Still a no. I don't see this whole 100% thing being a necessity. Don't get why. News from China. Status quo in China is over. Harmony and progress are blossoming throughout China under the benevolent rule of Shuge Jingsong. New types of precious silks and other wondrous new wares have started to flow along the increasingly safe routes of the Silk Road, whose wealth has doubled. Okay. 73% we are actually pretty close here um, but as fast as that's going down I uh, better leave it uh, except for not now there we go. so here they come again as long as oh they've okay their war is done so I'm in trouble <laughs> Uh, because, yeah, there you go. Now there's no reason for them to leave. Wow, that's a thousand troops. And now they're just gonna sit there. Uh, so close, yet so annoying. Because now they have even more troops! Holy cow! And they're headed for me! Uh, so, let's duck and run. Get out of here. Make it look like I'm invading them, but meanwhile I'm really just retreating. And you're heading for my capital. Uh, okay. We're heading for Barasura. Take it real quick. And I might have to white piece this thing. My heart burns with fervor upon hearing of poor Hindu souls being oppressed in the realm of Maharaja of uh, the usurper. Brahma intended for all true believers to be free to decide their own fate. But if Brahma is preoccupied with divine things, perhaps I should carry out the will of Brahma. Speller. Okay. 
Okay, here we are. We're going to assault this in just a moment. There we go. We are now at 80% war score. I'm about to lose my capital. My peace is definitely an option. It's one province. I think we chopped this one up as a lesson learned. If I lose my capital, lose the war, right? Not their capital. Could I finish it off that way? come right back to take it. <laughs> At age 66, somebody died. <laughs> okay. I only lost... 6%. But they're heading back to Orangalu. If they head to Barasura, I'm not gonna win this thing. Uh, intending to enforce their subjugation as a tributary state. Protector General Yao Wuxi of the Western Protectorate has declared war upon Corpin Corpin. Hun armies are already marching towards the realm of Kokin Corpin, and it seems possible that this spells the end of Corpin independence. Okay, I have a small chance that I'm gonna get there first, right? Barasura, 25 April, 19 April. I've got six days to figure this out. I'm gonna have to definitely go for an assault. And they finished their assault before... It wasn't even one day. Shoot. And now they don't want to offer the white piece. Uh, and now they're coming after me. Okay, so we're playing the Burrasur game. And I'm going to have to get back over to it. No, not that way. This way. Speed this back up a little bit. Uh, as I'm just running for Barasura. And we're gonna siege it super fast down, and then have to white piece this thing. Because I'm not going to, I'm not gonna win it. They're not gonna give me that chance. Yeah, see, 78%. It's just not enough. Uh, you're going to be here in two days. What if I take you out? Is that going to give me a big boost to war score? Not enough. White piece. I tried. I failed. Another party. And we need to dismiss. 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 There you go. Alright. Well, the good news was that I just took on the might of... Oh, see, now it's Maharashtra. So that's that's what happened. That war ended. And they instantly... became my enemy. So Maharashtra, the one who was weaker, that I had a chance at, is now much stronger. Uh, Paola, on the other hand, which I'm not going to war right now. I don't have the ducats to 
hire an army right now. Uh, what are your titles here? Palette Kingdom. Oh, all the way over here. Yeah, that's not happening. I have no easy targets now. I'm the easy target. Uh, a big revolt like this is my best chance. Ayuda is having all sorts of problems. Uh, I'm gonna have to wait for an opportunity. Party's getting started. And I can ransom this guy at least. Get a little money back. 145 gold, we'll take it. And one threat. Yeah, you're not happy with the uh, current succession order. Okay, we're gonna play another round of our war game. Uh, we played for hours. The tides of fortune ebbing and flowing as I tried to attack my opponent's positions without opening my defense too much. Eventually, I found a critical opening, made a few inspired and aggressive moves, and won the game! Hail to the Maharaja. I finally actually won one of those things. And head back to life. Marshall tells me one of my commanders has improved significantly. Seen some improvements. That's good. Wandering Buddhist monks have come to visit the province. They're staging impressive shows of acrobatic, unarmed fighting techniques in the villages. The guys are fast as lightning. 30% chance to gain one marshal. Sure. Open council position. Court chaplain again. Taking the better one in this case. More news from China. And I am totally out of time on this episode. Uh, the people of Korpan probably never knew why the exalted emperor chose to attack Kagan Korpan. Regardless, they have suffered a crushing defeat and Han armies are journeying home to celebrate as their victory has finally been declared. Alright, uh, I am out of time here. So, we tried to gain an additional province uh, at a fairly steep cost, but it was a good test our military might. Uh, obviously, I require help of mercenaries, uh, but my vassals are back up. They're not too happy, uh, but they're not crazy unhappy. Uh, I can muster about 2,500 on my own, and with help, as you saw, I can get to uh, about 4,000 uh, fairly reasonably, uh, but that's not enough. That's, that's not going to do it. Uh, I'd like to get some retinues going at some point. Uh, okay, I have a maximum cap of zero. No, I don't. I could have 240. Oh, but the lowest one there is two. This one's not 240.
Oh, it's a usage. Okay, I got it. 800, 900. You know what? We'll look into this later. I'm out of time here. Uh, that does it for this episode. I'm Decathlon Gamer, and remember, I'm aiming for the best of the best. So if you're ready to join me on my journey, hit subscribe, and tune in next time on my Road to the Record. Bye for now.